Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to determine the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of three numbers by using the prime factorization method. Let's start with the number 12. Since even number, I'm going to take a factor of 2 and 2 divides 12, obtain 6. Again, another even number. So 2 divides 6, we obtain 3. Since 3 is a prime number, so it's supposed to be divided by itself and the number 1. Once we obtain 1, which means that we can stop here and 12 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 since we have 2 times 2 equivalent to 2 squared multiplying 3 for the next number we have 15 and I'm going to take 3 divides 15 obtain 5 5 is a prime number so we have 5 times 1 equal to 5 again 1 stop so we have 15 is equal to 3 times 5 the last number 21 let's take 3 divides 21 obtain 7 7 is a prime number so we have 7 times 1 is equal to 7 which means that 21 is equal to 3 times 7 since we have obtained all the prime factors for the three numbers and we can now determine the highest common factor let's compare all the prime factors as the name stated common the common prime factor that we can see here is 3 and hence we can conclude that 3 is the highest common factor and now press it to lowest common multiple what I'm going to do here is write whatever prime factor that we are able to see here. We have 2, we have 3, we have 5, and 7. Next is compare. For the prime number 2, the highest power that we are able to see here is 2 itself. So we have 2 here. And for the prime factor 3, the highest power that we are able to see here is 1. So we write 1. And so for 5 and 7, let's multiply and we should obtain 420, which is the lowest common multiple of these three numbers. And hence, we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.